Now at 4.30, a follow-up to our exclusive investigation of alleged insurance fraud targeting homeowners. Public records obtained by West to investigate show thousands of complaints against insurance companies, but an insurance watchdog group says the state needs to work harder to hold the companies that collect your premiums accountable. Here's investigative reporter Greg Fox. Oh, thank you for being here. Jimmy Petronas is Florida's chief financial officer. We met him at this Hurricane Ian insurance village in Fort Myers, one of three that has helped policyholders obtain roughly $25 million in claim checks since Ian battered South and Central Florida. Because we can settle that claim, make all parties happy, and you can go start rebuilding your life. Petronas's office, the Department of Financial Services, investigates complaints of alleged fraud by insurance carriers, agents, and adjusters. He confirms he's investigating claims by independent field adjusters that some companies are manipulating field adjuster damage estimates to underpay policyholders. The carriers don't like being investigated, but that's exactly what's taken right now. But Petronas is also suspicious of public adjusters who are hired and paid by homeowners to conduct private damage inspections for claims. Then you got public adjusters who canvass the neighborhoods, who sign up as many people as they can, who get 10% of the claim and just leave their customer twisting in the wind. Yeah, I, I think they're locusts. But Wesh 2 Investigates obtained DFS records that show between September 2017 and November 2022, just 99 complaints against public adjusters, while insurance carrier complaints numbered more than 105,000. Uh, we certainly hope that people on the insurer side who are committing fraud against consumers are held legally accountable. Doug Quinn founded the insurance watchdog group, the American Policyholder Association, which helps in reporting alleged fraud. He's concerned that the state is soft on insurance company penalties because a big chunk of Petronas's campaign cash comes from insurance companies and their executives. Our West 2 Investigates review of Petronas's Treasure Florida Political Committee reveals more than $1.8 million in contributions from roughly 150 insurance industry donors. How do you regulate an industry that is supporting your campaign with that amount of money? Well, I, I take uh, a lot of pride that I was elected by over 20% of the vote over my opponent. I take a lot of pride in the way I take care of the people of the state of Florida when it comes to the insurance claims process. In reviewing Petronas's press releases, just in 2022, there were 51 property insurance fraud arrests statewide. But those charged were fake contractors, insurance agents, or unlicensed adjusters. It is the combination of taking the contributions with what appears to be a bias or appears to be a lack of effective advocacy on the part of Florida citizens who have elected these people. Patronus promises no bias, no easy treatment on any company in these latest investigations in the wake of Hurricane Ian. For the record, prior chief financial officers in Florida have received plenty of campaign cash from the insurance industry. West 2 Investigates has requested more records on other prior investigations in the state. We'll bring that to you when we get it. Greg Fox, West 2 News. You can watch Greg's prior report on hurricane insurance fraud right now at West.com. If you believe you suffered harm from Hurricanes Ian or Nicole and were underpaid, immediately file a complaint with the Florida Department of Financial Services and the Office of Insurance Regulation. Financial services can pursue criminal action and insurance regulation can fine companies and suspend or revoke licenses. We've put links to both agencies at West.com.